Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel in the Dubai. My name is Fafa and today we're going to be talking all things yam. Yes, how to fry the perfect yam. And the secret as to what I use in making sure that my yam is crunchy on the outside but nice and fluffy in the middle. But then again, you've got three choices. As I'd like to always say, the choice is yours. Now, as you can tell, I'm trying to peel my yam and it was disappointing to note that the yam had started to go off. And so you could see that I'm cutting into chunks, as you can see here, just saving what I can out of the entire tube of yam. Now wash your yam and onto a flat surface, I'm going to cut it into my desired shape. The first shape is I'm cutting the chip that goes with the grain of the yam, as you can see here. The next one is I'm going to cut it in a way that it goes against the grain and you'd understand. So what we're trying to figure out here is what is the best shape in frying the perfect yam? Absolutely. In the clear bowl, you do have the sliced yam that went with the grain of the yam. And in the gray bowl, you have the yam that went against the grain of the yam. And of course, um, in the other clear bowl, you do have a different shaped yam um, there, which is actually the traditional way that most yam sellers in Ghana do cut that too. I'm now going to submerge my yam in water until it's ready for me to fry. A, this prevents it from browning and it also just makes it fluffy. It helps, you know what I mean? So to a saucepan, I'm adding my preferred oil and I have placed the saucepan on a medium heat because I'm just going to heat this oil for about two to three minutes. I don't want it to be hot. There's a reason for it. So I have taken my strainer and I've just strained the water out of the yam and I've then added the yam to my oil. So you can tell that it's not really hot, hot, but it's just so. And I've just fried this for about two minutes. So I can tell that it's about to, like it's getting crispy, but not there yet. At this point, please do take all necessary precautions because I'm going to be adding my salted water to this mixture. And of course, water and oil do not mix. And of course, by adding that to it, it means there's going to be a reaction. So ensure that you have lowered the heat to its lowest setting when you're doing this. You also need a deeper saucepan so that ensure that even if it bubbles, it's still contained in the saucepan. The last thing you want is for this to explode onto the gas, onto live fire, because then it becomes dangerous. So please do take all that necessary precaution. Thank you. Now what happens to the outer layer of the yam is because we fried it for two minutes before and then we added the salted water, it then forms this beautiful crack on the outer layer of it as you can see here. And it's nice and fluffy in the middle. So you are actually having the yam in the middle boil but you're also having the outer part fry. You. And I hope you do familiarize yourself as well with the perfect way to fry plantains, which of course I did it in different shapes and sizes, of course infused it with some breadcrumbs and some things, be, you know, definitely I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can watch that as well. Now you can tell me what was or is your preferred shape when you're frying your plantain. Now moving back to the yam. I'm now going to be frying the other shape and I'm going to follow the same procedure. So this beauty is going to fry for 8 to 10 minutes and 5 minutes before it's done, I then add my other thinly sliced yam pieces, yes, and that can all just fry together because it still has the moisture in it, it has the salted water in there and it's just working perfectly. Now do not take your eye away from it because if I just brown slightly more than usual because exactly what happened to me here, but it's still good, it was still good and still fluffy, absolutely. And yeah, so this is done. Now we're going to be revealing what you think might be the best way to enjoy your yam chips. Is it the traditional Guinean wig, which is nice and fluffy and chunky and beautiful? This thinly sliced way, one against the grain, which is this one here, which is crunchy and beautiful. 
or the one that goes with the grain like the choice is yours so now here we have the traditional one as you can see it's nice and fluffy and chunky look at that mm -hmm. look at that and then the next one is the one that went with the grain what I noticed about that is it actually maintained, it was fluffier. It was dense and fluffier in itself. Uh-huh. And now, the one that went against the grain. On the outer layer, it's very crunchy, as you can tell. Yes, and you can see it's gone against the grain there. Now, let's look at what it looks like inside. Interesting. This is not any other food. Oh. This is in Dudu by Fafa. The choice is yours. Which one do you prefer? Leave your comments below. I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as in dudubaifafa, so do pass by and say hi. Norel, thank you very much for my music. Now, until next time, take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be your gorgeous self. Be kind. Be you and I love you just for you. Toodles.